What's going on, people? It's the Bear here once again. So, I tried to get into IGN or Forbes or GameSpot to try to give you one of their sites to go to um, about the Bethesda uh, E3 conference. But none of the sites has been updated yet. I don't know. I, I, I may have to go back and, and maybe check some more. But uh, this is what I got so far from telegraph.co.uk. I just looked at everything, and it's, it's as accurate as it's going to be. And I know it's accurate because I've seen the entire E3 uh, but that's the ED conference. So they're pretty accurate. So um, if you want to know more about the Bethesda conference, you can go to Telegraph or you can wait probably about an hour or so. Maybe IGN or something like that will come on and, you know, and then an update on their site about everything that happened. But I am super excited. I am super excited. This is going to be a lengthy, a little lengthy uh, video, so sit back and relax. I'm excited because, yes, what you see is true. There will be another Elder Scrolls game coming soon. We don't know how soon, but we know it's coming. And just as long as Todd Howard announced that there will be another Elder Scrolls game, Okay, Elder Scrolls 6 that we've been waiting on for the longest since 2011. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as long as he made that announcement, I'm good. But that's the one that show so far. I'm good. So let's read on for a little bit. And uh, like I said, this is as accurate as it's basically going to get. Uh... Because I looked at the conference myself, and I also seen everything that uh, Telegraph basically had on here. So, it's, it's pretty accurate. Okay? So, here we go. Uh, we're technically technically into the uh, day three of E3 to the uh, EA kicked out, whatever, whatever, whatever. But, uh, but that's the E3 to the 13 conference kicks off at... Uh, da, 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 da. we'll see more Rage 2, hopefully some more Fallout 76, which there was no hope for about it. They showed a lot of, of Fallout 76, and we're going to get into that in a minute. Uh, and then there's uh, Prey. They have some DLC for that coming out. They got another Doom game coming. And they got another Wolfenstein game coming. And the Dishonored. Uh, okay, so here they here they're talking about uh, Fallout seventy six, and with the epic fi uh, and with that epic finally, and with that epic finally we are done. I don't know, okay, but that's the certainly gave us everything we were looking for, though not everyone is happy about Fallout. 76 being online. Now, let me talk about this first before I go on into my video. I really did thought, and this what made me cringe just for a few hot minutes until uh, Todd Howard told me that it's, it's going to be played like the other Fallout games. So basically, you can play it um, offline or online, single player, or you can play with friends. But it made me cringe for a little bit because I do not want to fall out online like they did with Elder Scrolls. I don't like Elder Scrolls online. I don't like it not one bit. And I do not want them to play uh, Fallout like that. I don't want them to do that. So it made me cringe. And so I was sitting up here and I was like, no, 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 no. And then Tom Howard came and said, you know, you can play the Fallout games like every other Fallout game. But you in this one you can play with friends. So I said okay, because I man I was seriously about to be oh Todd oh you just don't know. So uh, as far as Fallout go, <coughs> you can play offline, you can play online. So 
they showed a lot about Fallout. And it's, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to see, is they going to play Fallout 76? Uh, is they going to play that online like Grand Theft Auto? Or you're going to play it like, basically, the Elder Scrolls Online. I don't know how they're going to, you know, I don't know how they're going to do that. Are you going to play it like Grand Theft Auto Online? Or you're going to play it like, I was going to say Fable 3, but Fable 3, you can't really see other players' characters in the game. I don't know how they're going to do that. But it looks a little bit interesting. But I just want the option to play it offline. You know, I didn't want them to make Fallout 76 like Elder Scrolls Online. So I'm glad they didn't do that. And that's a plus right there for me, seriously. But the biggest news was at the end of the night. Was at the end of the matter of fact, I'll, I'll get to that later before. Uh, let me get to this here. They got another IP coming out it's, uh, uh, for a single player game. It's uh, called Starfield. Don't know nothing about it. Looks interesting, uh, sounds interesting, but I don't know. We don't know anything about it yet, so we gotta see with that. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Blades. Now, here's the thing that had me going for a little bit. Uh, when they talk about, when I looked at the mobile game, I'm gonna be honest with you. The game itself on mobile looks fantastic. The graphics on there looks so spot on. But I was like, no, don't make this a, a, a mobile game. You know what I'm saying? But there's a reason now that we know this is a mobile game and not a console game. We know the reason now. You know, because of Elder Scrolls 6. Um, but it looks fantastic on mobile. But I don't want to play an Elder Scrolls game on mobile. I think it'll be a little bit too confusing, too complicated. As far as touch screen goes. When it comes to stuff like that. Um, strategy games. Card games. There's a lot of games that I can't play on mobile. That I can't play on consoles. You know. And Elder Scrolls Blades. Is not one of those games that I can play on mobile. I don't think that it would do so well. But but graphically. The resolution. It looks spot on. I'm telling you. Seriously. Seriously. It looks really really good. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So that's what that there. Uh, and it's going to be for free this fall and later in VR. Uh, I don't know. I'm, like I said, mobile, I'm not really too big on mobile games. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not too big on the mobile. But it looks great with the graphics. It looks excellent. Fallout Shelter. Now, tonight, which should be out right now, it's going to be... It's going to be free. Fallout Shelter. You know, it's going to be free tonight for the PlayStation and Nintendo. But I'm sitting up here like, Todd, wasn't you just at the Microsoft E3 press conference? But you ain't going to put that on their console? I'm not taking up for Microsoft or anything, but that's just kind of weird to me. You was up there. At, you know, Microsoft, and you're not going to put it on it, but you're going to put it on PlayStation and on the Switch. Okay. Let that go, you know, let that fly over your head, whatever. Oh, yes. Now, here is the good news right here. Fallout 76. After seeing the long gameplay, which looks extremely interesting. Extremely interesting. Will be out this year, November 14th. Yes, this year, November 14th, even said it on the press conference. So that is wonderful news. That's great right there. I would definitely be picking that up in November. That's great news, uh, Todd. You, you definitely uh, get a, a gold star for that there. Uh, there's going to be a beta. They call it Break It Early Test Application. I ain't going to even go there with that because that's just Break It Early Test Application. I don't know. Whatever. Um, you can collect codes to activate a nuclear launch, devastating your enemies. Now, when I see from the, uh, the gameplay, you have to uh, team up with a... Uh, you have to get a group of people... 
And other people have to have codes in order for this thing to work. Okay, uh, everybody else had to have a different code. And for what I seen on the on the press conference, so that's going to be an online thing. That's strictly online. So you know, I don't know much about that, but I did see um, that uh, you will need a group of uh, other players to to basically go into a bunker and basically uh, uh, you know destroy another you know, players home or whatever the case may be. So that looked pretty good, but you know, that's going to be entirely, yeah, that's going to be a, an online thing right there. Um, okay. And this here, they, they showed the fallout trailer here and, uh, Oh, Skyrim and Alexa, uh, King and Michael key. That was funny. That was pretty funny. What he did. The very special edition. That was funny right there. Uh, let's see, Wolfenstein, they're going to have a Wolfenstein Youngblood, and it was going to be a co-op title, which is going to be pretty good, I'm definitely going to get that there, you can, uh, you can look at for the trailer yourself, it's all this going to be on YouTube, by the way, um, Arcade Studios is looking for a, uh, a free update for Prey, it's going to start tonight, they're going to have New Game Plus, a story mode and survival mode. So, if you if you got that game, check them out right there. That's going to be, I guess, pretty good right there. Uh, Quake Champions. From what I heard about Quake Champions, is basically it's a multiplayer shoot 'em up, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> but the graphics to me did not look that good. I'm sorry, it just did not look that good. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I don't know. I'm I'm going to pass on that. Uh, Quake Dad. I don't know what the. They're gonna have a Doom Eternal. That's gonna be the Doom sequel. Uh, so that's gonna be another game that will be coming out. They're gonna t uh, talk more about that in QuakeCon in August. So, Elder, Elder Scrolls Online DLC. Uh, they're gonna have some of the you know. I'm not into the whole DLC thing, so I don't know if, if somebody likes the DLC or whatever for that. Uh, you can check that out for yourself. Um, they got another Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, I'm sorry, Elder Scrolls Legends. And this is basically a card game. It's a card game. If you're into playing cards... Like Magic the Gathering, stuff like that. That's for you right there. Not for me. I don't know. I'm not in the card games. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. My phone is acting rarely retarded right now. It's acting very stupid. So let me just go. Okay. Uh, Rage 2. Rage 2, they had a pretty good uh, trailer for that. So um, I'm, I'm sorry. Gameplay. It looks good. It looks good. I played the first Rage. I'm definitely going to get the second Rage. It looks good. Okay. Then they had this Andrew WK. Uh, I don't know what's up with that guy. I don't know. Whatever. Um, when, they was when they was introducing Rage 2, he came out and did whatever he did. But he was all right. Okay. What else here? I guess that's about it. That's about it. The biggest news of the night was that they are having another Elder Scrolls game, the Elder Scrolls 6. Now, we know Skyrim came out in 2011. That was, uh, that was seven years ago. Okay? Seven years ago, I'm counting by, like, year, you know, 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Matter of fact, it would be seven years. It would be seven years in November since uh, Skyrim came out. So, yeah. So, the biggest news of the night was Elder Scrolls 6. It will be out. And just for them just mentioning that, stole the show for me. So, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I'm going to give, you know, out of, out of a 10, I'm going to give Bethesda a 9.5. 
They did a really good show. Way better than Microsoft. And 10 times better than EA. They did a really good show. I'm looking forward to tomorrow for e, uh, Ubisoft and Sony. And then they're going to have Nintendo on Tuesday. But 9.5 out of 10 for Bethesda. For me, in my opinion. Just because. And I know a lot of people. The reason why they're giving out Elder Scrolls 6. Is because everybody has been coming to Todd. Saying when is the next Elder Scrolls coming. We want another Elder Scrolls 6. We want Elder Scrolls 6 to come. Everywhere you go. Forms. Emails. Everybody's been asking Ty Howard about it. So he gave you a, a teaser. It wasn't even much of a, te a trailer. It was just a teaser. Of Elder Scrolls is in development. Right now they're going to be working on Fallout 76. So don't even think about that. Uh, Elder Scrolls 6 coming on. Um, Fallout 76 coming this year in November but there will not be an Elder Scrolls 6 coming this year because they're going to be working on Fallout 76 because they're going to make it an online game you know part uh, single player part multiplayer so they got to do a lot of work on Fallout so yeah but I'm giving Bethesda I'm going to give it ah. Uh, can I give it a 9 point? I don't know. Let's do it like this. I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to give it a 9. Okay? Really good press conference. I'm going to do it like how Angry Joe do it. I can't do 9.5 and stuff. I'm going to give it a 9. It was a really, really good. Not a 10. Not a 10. Um, but it was a really, really good press conference. And I can't wait to play Fallout 76. Um, that will be out later this year. Matter of fact, I'm going to... Um, and as far as uh, Fallout Shelter, I'm going to go to the PlayStation Store and try that out. And, uh, yeah, see that, how that goes. So, tomorrow, like I said, it's going to be Ubisoft. And then tomorrow night, it's going to be Sony. So, all right, y'all. Uh, Podesta, you get a solid nine for this. It's the bear and I'm out. Peace.